Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on. You do not want to be missing the videos that I'm uploading. This is actually my second upload today. So earlier on today, I uploaded my Look Fantastic November unboxing. So I will leave that link down below if you want to go check it out. We also had a double upload yesterday, which was crazy as well. So we uploaded the Glossy Box November unboxing and then later on in the night we uploaded the XX Revolution the Pretty Little Peach collection review and reveal. So I Heart Revolution have launched two brand new tin palettes. So these are obviously their um, chocolate palettes, but these are the tin versions, which is a new thing that they've started doing. They've only released one so far. So this is the next two as part of the collection. So we have Toasted Marshmallow and we have Pecan Praline. I think that's how you say that. And these retail for £10 each. Today we are going to be doing swatches of them both. We're going to test them and do one on one eyeball and one on the other eyeball. And I'm going to give you my final review and let you know whether it is worth Yamane Hane. Okay, let's get straight into the swatches and let's get straight into the tutorial. So this is the brand new I Heart Revolution Pecan Praline palette and these are the first two rows swatched. I love how many mattes there is in this palette. And then we have the last row of the palette. That last shade is absolutely beautiful. And then this is the Toasted Marshmallow palette as you can see I've already swatched the first two rows this is just what they look like and then this is the last row of the palette it just looks like this so to change up a little bit I've gone in with my P. Louise base and the shade Aroma number two this is a big fat bad boy <laughs> and I've just basically tapped that all over my eye with the Peaches and Cream PC 18 brush which I absolutely love and what should we go in with first let's go in with this one which is the toasted marshmallow one so this is just what it looks like I know you have just seen all of the lovely swatches and I think I'm gonna go for like a purpley looks so i really want to use this darker one here and if you watch my xx video yesterday i mentioned that in some of the palettes there wasn't like just completely matte they're like they're like matte but like with a little bit of shimmer in it like a little bit of glitter and this one is the same but this darker um purple that we're going to use and people were saying in the comments that it's very easy to just use it as a matte so that's what we're going to try it's a day um and see what it is like so i'm going to take a spectrum a12 brush and I'm going to go in with that darker purple in the palette and it's called Dippin'. Dippin', so I'm going to dip in to dip in. <laughs> and I'm going to pack this, oh that's a nice colour, I'm going to pack this in this outer corner. See, it's still doing it now, so it's not focusing on Simba and I've not even got the lights on, so it's not focusing on that either. What the fuck are them? What are those? <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm putting the purple in this outer corner. This is very, very nice. So what I was saying before as well is it can be Simba that it was focusing on and it can't even be the lights itself that it's focusing on because I haven't even put the lights on. I might as well put them on now because I wasn't putting them on thinking that's what it's focused on to be fair, actually. For this little lighting setup I've got, I actually prefer it without the lights on. So yeah, I'm just tapping this in this outer corner and talking rubbish to you. I can confirm if you are wanting to get some of the little XX palettes that has the tiny little bit of glitter in the matte shades, they will work perfect as a matte because these two shades are the exact same. So both have that little bit of shimmer in them, but they work perfect as a kind of colour that you would normally put in the matte parts of your eyes, like your outer corner and and whatnot. And then I'm gonna go in with just a cheap brush that I got off eBay, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Candy Coated, which is this even lighter purpley pinky shade here. And I'm gonna take that and just lightly run this on the outer corner of that ooey gooey shade. I love the name of that, I think that's so bloody cool. And I'm just going to keep blending this out until I'm happy with it. Okay, so I can't believe that I'm going to say this, but there isn't like a shimmer for us to put on the inner part of the eye. Do you know what I mean? 
know what I mean. So <laughs> I'm not normally in the in this position. Normally I have like a ridiculous amount of sugar and I don't have enough mats. So yeah, I'm a bit kind of stuck on where to go next. And I don't know why, but my brain is telling me put this green on my inner corner. Should I just do it? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just do it. So I'm going to take a Morphe M224 brush and let's just see what this is like. Ooh, that looks real pigmented. Just tap off some of the excess. And I'm going to tap the, on the inner part of that eye. But I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. And there isn't like a shade that we can use on our inner corner or our brow bone either. So, do you know what? This might actually be a really good palette to pair up with an XX palette yesterday because they have a lot of shimmers and this has a lot of mattes. So that might be a good little combination. And there's a lot of like peachy tones in this as well that would go with them other palettes. That's actually not a bad shout. If I wasn't doing a review video, I would wax some of that on my eye, like some of the XX palettes, but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the review but that's that's really all that i can do with this palette now let's go on to the other eyes this is the pecan praline palette and this has two beautiful shimmers inside it and i think we're gonna go for the more peachy one instead of the the silver but this is just what this one looks like obviously i know you've seen so watches but let's get this on my eyeballs next so i'm gonna take a little pencil a brush and i'm gonna go for something a little bit different like a bluey orangey look why not why not so we're gonna go in with pecan pie which is like this darker kind of like bluey color in the palette and i think i'm gonna go for like a spotlight ish kind of eye so i'm gonna take that blue color and i'm gonna apply that basically on the outer and the inner part so now it's just looking a little bit rough like this. I'm gonna go in with a, ooh, the Zoeva one. I got this in a little Depop bundle that I bought. I feel bougie. This is the Zoeva Lux Petite Crease, the two, three, one. And I keep I keep going between three different mirrors. I don't know what's the matter with me today, but I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is Sweet Desserts, which is a really nice orangey color. And I'm gonna use this to blend out, oh God. <laughs> If I can hold it properly to blend out the edges of this dark blue and I'm also going to apply it a little bit along the edge here just so that it blends in nicely when we put that shimmer through the middle so yeah I'm just going to basically blend this blend the blue back together and just do it until again I'm happy with it wow not gonna lie love how that looks so I've just kind of blend that together I love that brush as well but that orange is beautiful and i'm gonna go in with just a big fluffy brush this is from the i have revolution unicorn glow collection and i'm gonna go in with this yellow here which is called candy cluster and i'm just gonna take that lightly on that big fluffy brush and i'm gonna use this to blend just the edges of the orange out just to diffuse them that little bit more. Okay, so now that I'm happy with how that is looking, we're gonna go in with Caramelized Sugar, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna take this on my finger, which just looks, oh, blinding like this. And I'm gonna just grab another mirror. I'm gonna basically tap this down the center of my lid. Wow, oh my god, that is beautiful. I love that colour combination together as well. I'm actually really happy with how that's turned out. I actually think I prefer the praline, the pecan praline, pecan praline one over the toasted marshmallow. When I first opened them, I thought, mm, actually, I think I prefer the colours, but I'm sorry, but this is beautiful like absolutely stunning <gasps> so so happy with that and we also have that other shimmery one in here which is the sugar syrup which just looks like this which is really really pretty as well but yeah that is what that looks like i'm going to take a little bit of the caramelized sugar and just pop that oh probably should have used a brush <laughs> and just pop that in my inner corner just to add a little bit 
of something there. So I'm just going to go in with the matte shades underneath my eye like I have done with the purple one on the other eye. I'll finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in a second to round up the rest of the video. So this is the finished look. I would love to know what you think down below. Let's go through the palettes quickly. So we have obviously the toasted one and the pecan pralines. This is the toasted marshmallow. I think this is really good if you want quite a lot of mattes. Obviously there isn't really like a standout gorgeous shimmer in here. So I think this would go really, really well if you want to use a pigment or you just want to do a matte look or if you have another palette that has loads of shimmers in like the XX Peach collection that I tried yesterday. It'd be really, really good for that. I love this new, wrong way around, this new packaging where it has like the little bars around the end of the mirror. Really like that. I like the tin packaging, not gonna lie. Really like it. Ten pounds. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to pick it up. Out of the two, this is my favourite. I mean, I'll be surprised, but I just wasn't expecting to get this kind of look that I've done with it. I think it looks absolutely stunning, and I like that it has a lot of matte in it. It has like two really standout shimmers in it too. So yeah, this is definitely my favourite out of the two. In case you're wondering what a little lip combination I've got on, just because I will forget. I have the stripped down lip liner on from MAC with the MAC lipstick in the shade Myth. And then I've also topped it off with a NYX gloss. It's actually my first time trying it. This is their Milky Gloss. And this is the shade Milk and Honey. This is what that looks like. So yeah, this is the finished look. I'd love to know what you think down below. Are you going to be picking up either of these palettes? I hopefully will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. We're actually going to be doing, I can't reach it from where I'm sat, but we're going to be doing tomorrow an unboxing of, you know, the massive revolution, like the Beauty Heroes advent calendar, like the £120 one, that's coming tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe, make sure that notification bell's turned on because £120, like it better be juicy. I'm, I'm going to film it after I finish this video, so I'm really excited to see what's inside it, whether it's worth £120, which is just crazy, crazy. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for that advent calendar unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Look Fantastic unboxing that I uploaded a couple of hours ago. Love you so much and, oh my god, that was my, <laughs> my um, knuckle. I shall see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.